Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our path 84. Inside this video, we are going to continue our last video that is how to send an email using Gmail SMTP server. But inside this video, we will use Markdown template. What actually Markdown template? If I back to editor, now in the last video, and we had seen that if we want to send an email template, this is the file what we have created. So is there any way to generate, let's say, the default Laravel email template inside application setup? Yes, we have. So when we generate an email template inside Laravel for sending emails is called Markdown Email Templates. So to understand in a better way, what I will do, first of all, we need to delete all these files what we have configured inside last video. So first of all, I will close all these files, collapse this project setup, go inside this app and here we have inside this mail folder, we have an email class. So I will delete this folder. This is the folder what we have created inside last video. Now here inside this resources folder, in the last video, also we have created an emails folder. So I'm going to delete that. Now for this video, what we have from the last, only we have a controller called sample controller. Now inside this controller, we are using a test mail which does not exist because we have deleted. So let's remove all these codes from this video. We are going to see step by step. Also we don't want this class because we have deleted. Now first of all, we need to generate an email class. So for now, what we have to send an email, if we go inside .env file, we have a Gmail SMTP server details here, what we have configured inside last video and we have a controller. So back to terminal, we need to create an email class. So php artisan if I type help manual to open this make mail and here as we can see that we need to pass a name as an argument and that name is the name of the class. Now inside these options as we can see that we have a markdown flag. This markdown flag what it will do it is going to create a new markdown template for the mailable. It means that it is going to create a email template file. So how to use? Simply let's say php artisan make mail. Let's say that task mail is the name of the email class. Minus m either we can pass or simply minus minus let's say markdown equals to we want our template inside an emails folder. So right now, inside this resources folder, views folder, we don't have any emails folder. So we want to store our email templates inside our emails folder. So back to terminal, markdown equals to, let's say emails, this is the folder name. Next, inside this folder, let's say that we want sample hyphen mail. So this command is going to create an email class which will be stored inside app folder and mail folder. Along with this command, it is going to create an email template that will be inside this emails folder and the file name is something sample-mail.blade.php. So if I press enter, mail created successfully. Back to editor, reload this directory structure and as we can see that inside this app directory, here we have a mail folder, this is dust mail and inside this dust mail, inside this build method, this is the difference what actually we can get from last video. Inside last video, we have here a view method. But inside this markdown, here we have a markdown method which is calling a markdown template what we have created along with the command. So this is the file which is inside this emails folder. So go inside resources, views, emails folder and this is the file. In the next video, also we will discuss that 
how can we customize this malleable file? But for the time being, we need to use this template to send an email. So back to sample controller, let's say that we are going to create the same variable called details, what we have created inside previous video, let's say title. This will be sample title from mail. Let's say body. This is sample content we have added for this test mail. Now if we save all these changes, next we need to import our email class. So let's say use test mail. First of all, go inside this mail directory, open up this file, save once, back to controller and let's say use test mail. So successfully now we have imported, this file is coming from app and mail folder. Now go inside this controller method. Let's say that mail, this is the class which is coming from facade and inside last video we have imported that. So mail and we will use this two method. Inside this two method, either we can get a two email address from our request or we can pass a static value here. So let's say that for this video, we want to send an email to this email address. And inside this malleable class, we have this test mail what we have created. So let's say test mail and we are going to pass our details array inside that. Now inside next, we need to receive all these values inside this email class. So before that, let's say within h2 tag, let's say mail sent successfully. Save all these changes. Back to this email class. Let's create a variable, something called public. Let's say details. Go inside this construct. First of all, we need to receive all the values what we are sending. Go inside this construct method. This details. This is the public variable what we have declared at the top of this file right here. And now this time we can access the, this details value inside this sample mail file. Now next we need to open this markdown template file. So go inside this resources folder, open up this file. And if we want to access this value means details value, here we have all the values with the name of called title and the body. So go inside this template let's say that before this thanks or let's say inside this body I want to add a h2 tag and inside this h2 tag we have our details array and inside this array we have let's say title I will copy and paste and in the next we have called details body now if you save all these changes Let's check one more time that all the things are correctly set or not. So here we have .env file, we have configured here. This is our sample controller. By the help of this controller, we will create a route. So if we go inside this routes folder, routes folder web.php. So we need to call this send hyphen mail and this route is going to call this send mail method from this sample controller and inside this method we are calling our test mail email class and inside this this is going to use a markdown email template file and inside this email template file here are the values what we are sending from our controller so save all these changes go inside this terminal let's start our development server back to browser and if i type called send hyphen mail pressing enter and here we have some error that is failed to authenticate and as i think that in the last video we have misspelled all about the password so to write the correct password back to editor open up the file called env and inside this let's say your password now if you save all these changes back to browser and before that if i go close this development server let's start one more time go and reload this page
as we can see that mail sent successfully. So back to our email address, here we have test mail. This is the subject and inside this here we have our email template. Keep in mind this email template we actually didn't create. This is created by markdown flag. And inside this we have a logo here. This is introduction. Here we have a button, thanks and all these messages. Only we are sending this title and this body. Now the next question we have in our mind is that how can we customize this our markdown email template file. So inside next video we will understand step by step that is if in case if we want to change this logo, if we want to remove this introduction or else if we want to anything information inside this email template. So how can we add according to our Laravel standard. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.